Hey everyone, welcome back. I stumbled upon a post discussing the efficiency of Genus Skill 1, whether it's better to use it with full marks or just 3 marks. I didn't really think about that much since Genu is already so powerful, but out of curiosity, I conducted some tests and the results were quite surprising for me. I threw in some additional tests, so let's see the details together. Keep in mind that this is just a small scale experiment conducted by myself, and results may vary among individuals, so simply enjoy it for entertainment purpose only. Firstly, I ran the test on the last stage of Parallel's Chasm, using the following team. I included Asra just to fill up the team, as I haven't invested much in her, ensuring her damage won't affect the test significantly. I used both fully transcended Genjun 5 star functor and signature functor at transcended tier 4. Also, I used this dwarf to remove the damaged bonus based on HP, as I was not able to keep the same HP throughout every test. Please use EM Plux or Savage when you play it. The damage bonus from these warps is significant. The initial test involved using skill 1 either when you have 3 marks or only when you have full marks. I started with the Genjun 5 star functor with over sigils in the red code. As usual, I kicked off with skill 3 at the beginning of combat, then used skill 1 with different marks count, and using skill 2 whenever it was ready. Surprisingly, using skill 1 whenever you have 3 marks gave the better result. Curious about the same scenario with the yellow code, I conducted the test with griffin sigils. Starting with a full stack combo, I used skill 1 with full marks and 3 marks separately. The result shows that the using skill 1 whenever you get 3 marks also had a better outcome in yellow code. I initially thought the first code of yellow code and faster reduction of fire resistance with more divine grace would give an advantage with full marks, but the result proved me wrong. Regardless of the code, I recommend using skill 1 whenever it's ready. Moving on, I questioned whether it's truly necessary to perform the full stack combo at the beginning of the stage for the yellow code with the signature functor. So I compared two scenarios, one doing the full stack combo at the beginning, and the other using skill 3 at the start and collecting full marks in flying mode. Once I get full stack, use skill 1 whenever it's ready. The results show that performing the combo at the beginning gives better results. The combo allows for a faster full stack and full critical rate bonus so this outcome was expected. Next, I wondered what would happen if I used the yellow code with Genjun functor. So I tested this scenario and was able to predict the result on the halfway through the stage, as I barely observed any critical hits. I tried both the oval and gripping sigils with the Genjun functor in the yellow code, but neither of them was comparable to the signature functor. So let's avoid using the yellow code without the signature functor. Next, back to the red code with Genjun functor. I experimented with different warp combination among these options. The best result came from using this combination. Although the differences in damage among these warp were not significant, the executioner showed slightly lower damage output. It took a while to lower the boss HP below 40%, and there wasn't enough time to fully utilize it, which I believe contributed to the slightly lower damage output compared to the other warps. I also don't recommend mixing the judge with the executioner until you reach triple S rank. Lastly, this combination demonstrated better overall damage output. So for the 5 star Genjun functor with oval sigil in red code, I recommended choosing between these options. Next, I wanted to see the damage differences between the red and yellow codes with the signature functor. First off, you don't need a Gripin signal in the red code. Enchant level 8 critical rate gives a total of 50% crit rate for Jinu. The crit rate bonus from the signature functor and Lingguang is already enough. So I compared between the signature functor with over signal in the red code and the signature functor with Gripin signal in the yellow code. Let's check the result from the red code first. You can see the damage output is improved compared to the Genjun functor. The average remaining HP of the boss is around 8-14%, to with the best result showing 5% HP remaining. 
The best result came with these valve combinations. Now let's move on to the result from the yellow code. The average remaining HP of the boss is around 7 to 12%, with the best result showing 3% HP remaining. The result is improved but not dramatically changed. However, the gap will be greater if the signature functor is transcended further with a better critical rate. Also, in the yellow code, these warps start to become more useful than in red code. You get better result if the ultimate skill chain gets a critical hit. The best result also comes from these warps. I can say these warps give a stable result, while these warps can increase the max damage output with fluctuating result from time to time. These warps still give similar results. In conclusion, if you use Genjon 5 star functor, go for the red code with Oval Sigil. You can consider choosing between these warps combination. If you use the signature functor, you can choose between the red and yellow codes. If you want to use red code, use Oval Sigil with these warp combinations. If you want to use yellow code, use Gripping Sigils with these warp recommendations. Also, this is more for Perilous Chasm. Other contents like Hedgehog Zone Cleaning or Recurring Dream will not have any difficulties clearing with any combination of warp. I tried many combinations in this stage too, and results were all similar among different combinations. Just for your information, I got the best result with this warp combination with signature functor in yellow code, so you can try these too. Anyway, changing warp is free, so feel free to try different combinations of your liking. Additionally, for Lingguang, use this chip when Jinu use EM Plux, and use this chip when Jinu use Savage. Lastly, I saw someone ask about the full stack combo for transcended tier 4 signature functor, so I will finish up this video with a combo explanation. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye guys!